Dear friends, today we are entering the 10th day in the season of Advent. Draw close to God and God will draw close to you. This is a need and there's no option if we have to set our life's direction right. But it takes time. It takes desire. Any deeper and personal relationship always calls for taking time, sharing our feelings, our fears and desires in trust. An honest heart and honest longing God always blesses. And a genuine friendship like an open page shares one's own faults, hurts, inabilities, feelings as well as excitements of life. And the beautiful part of being in friendship with God is that He never, never expects our perfection. He doesn't mind our brokenness, but counts on our honesty. He will always screen our intention. If you look at the prophets in the Bible, none of them were perfect, but it was okay to God. There were people who complained to God, who accused others, and even argued with God. God always considered this approach of theirs as a sign of their frankness to Him. In fact, He encouraged it. God listened patiently to David's many accusations of unfairness, betrayal, and abandonment. God did not slay Jeremiah when he claimed that God had tricked him. Again, Job was allowed to vent his bitterness during his ordeal, and in the end, God defended Job for being honest. And he rebuked Job's friends for being inauthentic. And we read it in the book of Job, chapter 42, verse 7. After God had finished addressing Job, God told them, You haven't been honest either with me or about me, not the way my friend Job has. My friend Job will now pray for you, and I will accept his prayer. And God accepted Job's prayer. Dear friends, let us remember that any genuine friendship is developed on disclosure. Authenticity is integral to any deeper relationship. We are given the total freedom to release our resentment and to reveal our true feelings, the anguish, the anchor, and these are also steps towards inner healing. Inner cleansing is an advent requirement. Inner cleansing is life's requirement. So, during this Advent, as we wait for the Redeemer, the healer of our sins and wounds, let us open up ourselves to Him and tell Him how exactly we feel about life. May God bless our authentic desires and bless our waiting for His healing touch. Amen.